SPUFalcons.com here with run coach Keith Jefferson. Coach, uh, how has uh, preseason training gone for you? Very well. It is, as with any group of our type, uh, with lots of inexperienced rowers, uh, it's a bumpy process. But we have come uh, and made some good steps even in recent days. Um, the last couple of 2Ks in practice have been showing very much improvement. So I'm pleased with some of the speed that has been picking up. And not just speed, um, rowing together. Uh, these bursts of activity in which we, we get improvement are, are fun to watch, but sometimes they're, they're few and far between. But we've had some recently that are very encouraging. Uh, so. Well, this weekend on uh, Saturday the 15th, first opportunity for your rowers to row against somebody else. Uh, in a real unique event up in Bellingham, talk a little bit about that, Western Washington Invitational. Exactly. It's a scrimmage. Yeah, which is to say that it's fairly informal, uh, there won't be officials. Uh, it's, the idea is simply to get out there and race somebody. Uh, it's an experience builder for everybody. Um, it is also unusual in that it is 1,000 meters half our distance. It'll still be racing starts and sprints, but it'll be half the distance. The idea to get out there and race more often with as many people as you can so there will be lots and lots and lots of, of shorter races, and some people may come away with four or five races under their belt, um, which is unusual. Usually you just get two, even sometimes one, one per weekend. So those are the big differences. Um, and, uh, and then it's, a, it's a really an away course for us is, a, is kind of a helpful thing too. We get to even practice things like loading our trailer. Uh, but um, it's nice to go somewhere else and really kind of get that feeling in an athlete of competing, not just against somebody else, but in a venue other than your own. And how important is it to, to have an informal event like this where you're, particularly your novices can get a start, you know, finish, what, follow a race plan, whatever, in a setting like this before you, you roll for real? And, um, regattas. Oh, very, very important. Even though we practice putting together plans, when you race yourselves, and quite frankly, you're racing other, you know, our own team, but the other gender, and so it, it's just, it's really, it's really critical. And, and we always come back and we have a debrief session, and the lights are coming on. You could tell them these things over and over again. You could go out and race each other but the, the lights won't really come on until they, until they get out there and go, oh, that's what he was talking about. Or, that's what they meant when. So it really is great to, to see that, um, uh, that learning curve, um, and then you hope it to go very quickly up. So. Now, are you able to gauge in practice what you have speed-wise with your crews, or is an event like this ideal for you to, to get a true measure of your speed? No, we can, to a certain degree, get a pretty good idea. We keep close track over the years of our, of our relative speed in category, uh, though um, conditions obviously vary widely in rowing, more than, than people appreciate, because you have not only wind, you also have water flow. Even in our canal, there is water flow. And water temperature actually makes a fairly significant difference. Um, and then, as anybody who's been in athletics knows, you're just never going to get your best performances without the pressure of competition. So, but you've got those relative benchmarks in practice compared to those same benchmarks in those, those competitive venues that allow you to kind of gauge how you're doing. So yes, we do have some of those benchmarks. We're probably ahead of last year um, in most of our categories. Um, but short on a couple, primarily on the women's side. The men's are coming along probably a little bit better uh, in the V4. Uh, 